Leading local today in our top story, a family in Bismarck is now back on their feet a year after a terrible crash changed their lives. Tanner and Brody Took went to the hospital after they were badly hurt in a crash just a few miles from home a year later, and they say they're grateful to be able to enjoy holidays like the 4th of July as a family again. Eight-year-old Brody Took will soon be a third grader, but he's not terribly excited about it. Not really because I have to do homework. I don't want to do homework. You can't blame Brody for not wanting summer to end. He is just getting back into the swing of things. Yeah, I broke my ankle. I broke this arm. Like in, well, it was in like in three places. It was June 28th of last year when Brody and his dad were on their way to baseball practice. When I turned, the bat had fallen off the seat, and uh, and he had asked for his bat, and it was making a tinging noise, so I had reached back to grab his bat for him, not realizing that he had reached or taken his seat belt off. What seemed innocent at the time would change the Took family forever. As I reached back, the, I grabbed the steering wheel, and we uh, went into oncoming traffic. But I have both your um, husband and your son. He's like here. Um, they're both at Sanford, and he's like, but I, I need you to come. Tanner's wife Jessica says she still has the voicemail, a short message that didn't give away much about the crash on Centennial Road. Your heart sank because there was like, there was no way that either of them walked away from that just by what the vehicle looked like. Jessica and her daughter recognized the car as they drove by the wreck on the way to the hospital. Tanner was um, coherent, but he was just screaming, Brody, Brody, Brody. I mean, I remember everything from the accident and everything, so it was, I mean, something that I don't wish upon anybody. For Brody, it meant some broken bones and a summer of no more baseball. For Tanner, it was a flight to Fargo and a hip replacement. I went and seen my physical therapist here on Monday, I think it was. But a full year later, the Tooks say their life is just about back to normal. We're all still here, and it's it's amazing, but like it really tested us of, of who we are and, and what we can take on, and so I, I wouldn't change it by any means. But what also changed is that the Tooks say they don't take anything for granted. Even before the accident, I, I couldn't tell you how many times that you know, well, we were on a road trip. I would quickly unbuckle and grab something. And even after the accident, I mean, I don't know how many times people stopped and said, do you know how many times I did that? Yeah. But do you know how many times we don't do that now because of it? I mean, like, we literally pull over and stop now because of it. And, um, and that's just how we live our lives now. A life that these busy parents admit means being more cautious and not taking their eyes off the road. Tanner says this month he has been cleared to go back to work full time. Two other people were hurt in the crash from that day, and so far we have been told that both men have since recovered.